Welcome to a world where the message shapes destiny. Where this is what I've achieved in 20 years carries less weight than endless promises. Welcome to the art of persuasion. It's negotiating a pay rise. It's, it's convincing your kids to finish off their vegetables. It's the art of influence, essentially. And the Prophet Ali Wasalam was, I would say, the greatest, arguably the greatest proponent of that. He was influence in motion. He conquered Mecca, for example. And instead of announcing revenge, as so many people would do, he announced there will be no retribution on that day. Let alaykum al Echoing the words of the Prophet Yusuf Ali Salatu Wasalam, communicating something with a very powerful message that changed not just the hearts but the minds of the people there. And in our day, social media, if you look at it, social media is there to influence and to tweet the meme, the Instagram post by your favorite favorite celebrity or your favorite um, online Google Sheikh, um, really gets you to crave certain things and, and, and makes you buy into certain fads. Now looking at the Turkish elections, and I, I look at what's happening, the opposition leader's repetitive promise, they're starting to lose impact. He says, I'll keep my promise, I'll keep my promise, you can trust me. It starts to sound, the more and more you listen to it, the sound of a wolf in, in sheep's clothing. The more it's repeated, the more it loses its value. And contrast that with you know, President Erdogan's straightforward message of his achievements. He says, this is what I've achieved over the last 20 years. His message is the right man for the right path. It rings with confidence. It reminds us that persuasion is what you have done and not just what you've said. It's walking the walk, as I say, and not just talking the talk. Now, President Erdogan was 20% down in the polls just a month ago. So let's see how he you know, manages to claw that back with the power of effective communication. And it's not just elections that are won through this, through the art of persuasion, it's also hearts. And I said the conquest of Mecca al-Muqaram was a masterclass in that. And there's many more like that that we're going through in the course, which is called the, the prophetic art of persuasion, inshallah. Starting in May, end of May, we'll be going through one month of classes looking at the prophetic art of persuasion, the prophetic art of communication, the prophetic art of changing people, changing people's minds, changing people's hearts. And essentially looking at what we can learn from that, gaining insights from it and then applying it with our own lives. So because master classes are done by masters and the Prophet ﷺ was Sayyidun Nats, he was the master of all people. So inshallah, look forward to seeing you at that course. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.